I've been thinking loads about anxiety this week and tips for people and how I've managed to control my own anxiety. And I want to share with you an extract from this book. I don't know if you've heard of it. I can't actually remember the first time I showed symptoms of being anxious. I used to hide behind my parents when someone tried to take a photo. How ironic. I know. Extremely nervous if too much attention was on me at school. As I got older, fresh symptoms developed. On the bus, if someone came on with a bag, I would worry it was a bomb. Angry people scared me. Practical tests scared me. I would shake uncontrollably. I'm convinced I passed my driving test because the examiner felt sorry for me. He was meant to be the scary tough guy too. Throughout the reverse park, I was shaking more than Miley Cyrus's ass in full twerk mode. Hey, hey, hey. One day it hit me that I needed to make changes. I needed to take charge of those anxious thoughts. I needed to nurture my body and find the right balance with my vices. I don't know about you, but my anxiety can fluctuate like the stock market. I remember a doctor saying to me once, you worry about yourself a bit. Well, yes, that's why I'm here. I nurtured my anxiety over the past few years because I've been living and breathing all things self-care and wellness. I would be worried if I wasn't nurturing my anxiety. The first time I had an anxiety attack, I will never ever forget that day. I'm in New Zealand, on a pier, about to take photos of a family going into a boat and I just lose it. To the point that I think, I'm losing my mind, like where am I? And I put on a filter. As anxious people, we edit things because we're people pleasers. I'm naturally a people pleaser, but there came a point in my life where I had to please myself first. That's when my anxiety started to go down. That's when my anxiety started to feel lighter, when I realized that actually I do have a value, I do have a voice. And so do you. We all do.